us her start. Five, four, three, two, one. We have main one, engine start. Zero. Plus one. Lift off. Two, three, four, five. And we're seeing normal reaction. All personnel like switch to channel four for security. All personnel switch to channel four for security. Engine steering wow. looks good. 13, 14, 15. Our load relief kick rate is in, passing T plus 20 seconds. Main engine chamber pressure still looking good. Plus 30 seconds. And we've recovered nicely from the liftoff transients. Engine positions look good. Steering looks good. We've just passed 255 seconds. Eight, Eight start. start. Seven, six, main five, engine start. Four, four three. Two, one, start. zero, and we have liftoff. Liftoff. Let's go. Well, the Boeing four, Delta IV rocket five, carrying the Discus okay. 3D6 satellite. Mark for second. We're going to lift off for security. We will be watching now. Channel now four underway, and the 301st Delta mission into space. Good levels on all first stage. Yee, yee, on channel four, please. Five plus 45 seconds. Delta plus 30 seconds, Mark Levine calling out the telemetry like data to confirm that it's miles down events during the flight. Sonic boost. All personnel so far, no issues being reported. Stage engine controls looking very smooth. The first milestone coming up will be the Delta IV rocket breaking the sound barrier, traveling at approximately 720 miles an hour. That happens at 82 seconds into flight. First stage data continues to look very good. In about 30 seconds from now. T-minus 15 seconds, and we now passed the critical hold point. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have ignition of the main engine. And now ignition of the solid rocket motors. We have liftoff. Liftoff of the Boeing Delta IV carrying NROL-22 for the National Reconnaissance Office. The first Delta IV launch from Vandenberg. You may be hearing Steve Agate call out the milestone events. As we're continuing to fly. He's using telemetry data being received so from the launch vehicle. seconds into the flight. The camera view you are seeing is from the tracking cameras designed to follow the rocket during its flight. 12, 11, Let's go big. 10, mark, say 9, 8, 7, start, 6, 5, go, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes. Zero. Oh, lift off. Yeah. Ailes charge. Pulling water activate. Oh, activate. Are you serious? All personnel lift post lift off securing. The floor. Hey, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, dude, look at that. Whoa. Beautiful. Dude, they're not coming out. Really? Oh, we'll get a clean though. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh. T minus 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of the Delta IV rocket with GOZO, enhancing quality and reliability of the weather satellite for the forecaster. Up 12 seconds into the flight. Six seconds in. Solid motor chamber pressure is beginning to decline. 35 seconds in. Altitude now three nautical miles, velocity 1945 feet per second, and downrange uh, about one mile. 50 seconds. Passing Mach 1, vehicle now going transonic. Now passing one minute into the flight. Now hitting max Q, maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle. T minus 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, seven 6, six five, 5, 4, four three, 3, 2, 1. We have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the WGS-3 spacecraft for the United States Air Force. The wideband global SATCOM satellite provides a significant increase in capacity to our joint warfighter and Australian international partner. Altitude now a little over one nautical miles. Velocity 1800 feet per second. Just passing 30 seconds. Solid motor chamber pressure is now beginning to decline. Passing 36 seconds, Mach 1. Vehicle's now transonic. Chamber pressures on the four solid motors are decreasing as expected. T minus 10, 9, 8. Go for main engine start. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff of the Delta IV rocket with GOES P, completing a new weather satellite constellation growing reliability for the weather forecaster. Coming up 30 seconds, Mark, 30 seconds into the flight. Altitude now two nautical miles, velocity 1,834 feet per second downrange, about a half a mile. Chamber pressure is beginning to decline. 47 seconds in, now passing Mach 1, vehicle now going transonic. T minus 15 seconds. Niners armed. Rofi ignition. T minus 10, 9, nine 8, eight start. 7, seven. Six, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Lift off. We have lift off of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying GPS 2F SV1 for the United States Air Force. The global positioning system serves the U.S. military, America's transportation system, and civilian users around the world. Coming up 20 seconds into the flight. Mark, 20 seconds. Still looking good. Good engine control and roll, and good engine control, pitch and yaw. Thirty-five seconds in. Chamber pressure now beginning to decline on the solid rocket motor one and two, very symmetrically, as we'd expect at this point in the flight. T minus fifteen seconds. This is Delta Mission Control. T minus ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Main engine ignition. Zero and lift off of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the NRO L-27 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. And you're hearing the voice of Steve Agate providing launch vehicle data. Fifteen seconds into the flight. Now passing twenty seconds. 
approaching one nautical mile. Covering nicely from the initial launch transients. Chamber pressure is starting to their decline and the boat solids as expected. As we're approaching 40 seconds, mark 40 seconds in. This is Delta Mission Control at T minus 10. 9. This is start. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. Main engine. We have main engine start. 0. Let's lift off. And lift off of the United Launch Alliance Delta 4 rocket carrying WGS 4 for the United States Air Force. The wideband Global SATCOM satellite provides significantly increased capacity to our joint warfighters and Australian International Park. Here in the voice of Steve Agate, providing launch vehicle ascent data. Chamber pressures beginning to decline in the solid rocket motors as expected. Thirty-six seconds, Mach one. Vehicle now going transonic. Vehicle has now reached Mach one. Very stable. Delta four Chamber rocket is traveling at the speed of sound. As we're passing 45 seconds into the flight. This is Delta Mission Control at T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Delta engine ignition, 1, 0, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the NRO L 25 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Burn. You're hearing the voice of Steve Agate providing launch vehicle ascent data. 15 seconds in. Still looking good. Good engine control on the first stage. Camera pressure beginning to drop off, as expected, on the main engine. Correction in the uh, two solids. Altitude now 4 nautical miles, velocity 1,500 feet per second, downrange distance 11.2 nautical miles. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have ignition of the RS-68 main engine 2, 1, 0. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the GPS 2F3 satellite for the United States Air Force. The Global Positioning System provides worldwide positioning, navigation, and timing service for the military and civilian users. You'll be hearing the voice of Steve Agate providing launch vehicle ascent data. Looking good. 30 seconds into the flight. Good performance in the first stage, very little engine movement. 37 seconds in. Chamber pressure beginning to decline now on the solid rocket motors as expected. 47 seconds in, Mach 1, vehicle now going transonic. 52 seconds in, still looking good. Coming up on the one minute mark. Mark one. T minus 10. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, we have lift. We have RS-27 main engine. 
We have liftoff the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying WGS-5 for the United States Air Force. The wideband global SATCOM satellite provides significantly increased capacity to our nation's leaders, warfighters, and international partners. Looking good. You are hearing the, the voice of Steve Agad providing launch vehicle ascent data. Passing 36 seconds, Mach 1. Vehicle now going transonic. Chamber pressure is holding good in the first stage. Solid motor chamber pressure beginning to drop off as expected. Passing 50 seconds, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle. Minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We have RS sixty eight engine ignition. Two, one, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the fifth GPS two F satellite for the United States Air Force. The global positioning system provides worldwide positioning, navigation, and timing service for military and civilian users. This is Delta Mission Control at T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. We have ignition of the RS sixty eight main engine. One, zero, and we have liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the sixth GPS two F satellite for the United States Air Force. The global positioning system provides worldwide positioning, navigation, and timing services for military and civilian users. You're now hearing the voice of Tim Holt providing launch vehicle ascent data. Vehicle control appears nominal. T minus ten, yeah. nine, eight, seven, six, five. We have ignition of the RS sixty eight engine. Two, one. We have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the Ab Space Four mission for the United States Air Force. Good chamber pressure on the main engine. You are hearing the voice of Steve Agat providing launch vehicle ascent data. Good symmetrical burn. Seventeen seconds in.
25 seconds in. Still looking good. Good engine control on the first stage. Passing 35 seconds. Chamber pressure beginning to drop in the solids as expected. 40 seconds in. Good chamber pressure in the main engine. Coming up 47 seconds. Mark 47 seconds. Mach 1. Vehicle now going transonic. Altitude now passing five nautical miles, coming up on one minute. Rofi ignition. Ten. T minus ten, ten. Nine. nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We have ignition of the RS-68 engine, and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the ninth GPS 2F satellite for the United States Air Force. The Global Positioning System provides worldwide positioning, navigation, and timing service for military and civilian users. 20 seconds into the flight. Good engine control on the first stage. Now passing 30 seconds. Altitude now 1.5 nautical miles. Velocity 1,659 feet per second. Downrange distance 3.8 nautical miles. 40 seconds in. Chamber pressure beginning to decrease in the... You are hearing the voice of expected. Steve Agate That's providing right. launch vehicle ascent data. 50 seconds. Mach 1. Vehicle going transonic. Coming up on the one minute mark. Mark. One minute, one second. Max Q. Maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle. T minus 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Four, three, we have ignition, two, one, zero, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the seventh WGS satellite for the United States Air Force. The wideband global SATCOM satellite provides significantly increased capacity for our nation's leaders, warfighters, and international partners. SRM uh, chamber pressure now. Coming up 30 seconds. 11, 34 seconds. 10. T minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the NROL 45 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. You are hearing the voice of Steve Agate providing launch vehicle Good ascent data. On the first stage. Coming up 30 seconds. Mark 30 seconds in. Altitude now 1.5 nautical miles. Velocity 1,396 feet per second. Downrange distance about one quarter of a mile. Chamber pressure is uh, beginning to drop now and the solid rock motors as expected. Coming up on uh, 45 seconds. Still looking good. Status check. 49. Go Delta. Go aft space six. Green board. Twenty five. Flight lock in. SRM TVC blowdown. T minus fifteen. Rofi ignition. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And lift off of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the Aft Space 6 mission for the United States Air Force. Good chamber pressure on the main engine. Good chamber pressure on both solid rocket motors. 17 seconds into the flight. Good engine control on the first stage. 25 seconds in. You are hearing the voice of Steve Agate providing launch vehicle Chamber ascent data. Chamber uh, beginning to trail off with the solid rocket motors as expected, as we're passing 33 seconds. Altitude passing 2.2 uh, nautical miles, 37 seconds in. Forty-four seconds, Mach 1, vehicle now going transonic. Passing 50 seconds, still looking good. 
T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We have engine ignition. 2, 1, and, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the WGS-8 mission for the United States Air Force. Pressure's looking good. Burn profiles on the four solid rocket motors also looking good. Now passing one minute into flight. Approximately 30 seconds remaining in the solid rocket motor burn. T minus 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. RS 68A engine ignition. 1. And we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the WGS 9 mission for the United States Air Force. What a great way to celebrate the Air Force's 70th birthday. That's full thrust. SRM uh, burn profile is also looking good. 20 seconds into flight. SRM uh, chamber pressure is beginning to tail off off of the uh, max pressure. 30 seconds in. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch Mach vehicle Delta ascent data. Is now supersonic. down the middle of the range track, looking good. RS-68 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Now passing one minute into flight. T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition of the RS-68A main engine, and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the NROL-47 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Into the flight. R68 chamber pressure looks good. Fuel injector pressure also looks good. You're good hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch motors. vehicle ascent data. Burn profile on the solid rocket motors appears to be within family. Now passing 25 seconds into flight. And now 35 seconds in. Still seeing good chamber pressure and injector pressure on the RS68. Good good chamber pressure on both solid rocket motors. Now coming up on 49 seconds into the flight, Mach 1, Delta 4 is now supersonic. And 55 seconds in, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And continuing to see good chamber pressure on the RS-68. Launch vehicle is now 8.5 miles in altitude or 0.8 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,400 miles per hour. One minute, 15 seconds into flight. Approximately 20 seconds remaining until SRM burnout. And continuing to see good chamber pressure on the RS-68. Now one minute, 30 seconds in, standing by for SRM burnout shortly. And we have SRM burnout, standing by for jettison. And we have good jettison on both solid rocket motors. Now 1 minute 45 seconds into flight. Continuing to see good chamber pressure on the RS-68, good fuel injector pressures as well. And the Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 2,000 pounds per second. Just over 2 minutes into flight. And the ACS press valve has been opened. System pressure response looks good. Two minutes, 10 seconds into flight. And 
At two minutes, 22 seconds into flight, vehicle is now passing Mach 5, traveling at five times the speed of sound. Launch vehicle is now 50 miles in altitude, 34 miles downrange distance, traveling at 3,700 miles per hour. Two minutes, 40 seconds into flight. 15. Rofi ignition. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the WGS-10 mission for the United States Air Force. Passing 10 seconds into flight. Our SCP chamber pressure looks good. Okay, good chamber pressure. See good performance on the RS-68A engine. Now coming up on 30 seconds. 34 seconds into flight, Mach 1 Delta 4 is now supersonic. SRM chamber pressure has tailed off from the max pressure as expected. Continue to see good uh, engine performance on the RS-68 engine. Delta is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Now 55 seconds into flight. Continue to see good performance on the RS-68A engine. Good performance on all four SRMs. Nice symmetric burn. Now one minute, five seconds into flight. About 30 seconds remaining until SRM burnout. Now passing one minute, 15 seconds into flight. Continue to see good performance on the main engine. and standing by for SRM burnout shortly. And we have burnout on all four SRMs, standing by for jettison. And we have good indication of jettison of all four solid rocket motors. Main engine continuing to perform well, chamber pressure looks good. Now passing one minute, 50 seconds into flight, vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. The Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight, burning propellant at a rate of almost 2,000 pounds per second. Now two minutes into flight, the second stage ACS system press valve has been opened. System pressure response looks good. And seeing good body rates on the Delta IV as it transitioned to closed loop guidance. Main engine continuing to perform well, engine parameters look good. Now two minutes, 18 seconds into flight. Launch vehicle is now 46 miles in altitude, 73 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,400 miles per hour. Continue to see good performance on the main engine, passing two minutes, 35 seconds into flight. And body rates have uh, nulled out now, two minutes, 45 seconds in. And the upper stage lock system has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the RL-10 engine. Now two minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. And upper stage fuel system has begun boost phase chill down. Standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. 30 seconds. Status check. Go Delta. Go GPS. 23. SRM, TVC, blowdown. 15. Rofi ignition. T minus 10. 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, we have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the GPS-3 Magellan mission for the United States Air Force Space and Missile Systems Center. Body rate response looks good. Now 15 seconds into flight. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle ascent chamber pressure data. looks good, seeing good chamber pressure across both SRMs. 25 seconds into flight. 
continuing to see good operating parameters on the r sixty eight a main engine chamber pressure on both srms continues to look good seeing good body rates on the vehicle now forty seconds into flight vehicle is now passing Mach 1, Delta 4 is now supersonic now fifty seconds in main engine continuing to perform well, continuing to see a good burn profile on both SRMs and vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure main engine continuing to perform well continuing to see good SRM chamber pressure profiles one minute, 15 seconds into flight. Approximately 15 seconds remaining till SRM burnout. SRM chamber pressure is tailing off. And we have burnout on both SRMs, standing by for separation. And we have separation of both solid rocket motors. Vehicle is now going to closed loop guidance. Body rate response looks good. Seeing minor correction in the roll attitude as expected. And the Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight. Second stage ACS system pressurization valve has been opened. RCS uh, pressure response looks good. Now two minutes, five seconds into flight. And vehicles now passing through Mach 5.